morning everyone well i've had several requests for a video on butternut squash so i thought i would wander out here with my cup of coffee today give you a few planting tips and also show you a couple great trellising options for butternut squash now if you've never grown butternut squash before i highly encourage it it's super easy to grow and if you're considering growing any vegetables but are kind of on the fence, I wanna encourage you to get started, even if it's just with one vegetable. The weather's getting warm, it's an easy time of year to grow, and there's nothing like your own fresh organic veggies. Don't you agree? Especially with a cup of coffee. Now, I have some butternut squash here that I harvested not too long ago. It actually grew all winter in our garden. We got a couple light frosts, but it just kept on trucking. Now, butternut squash is a winter squash, and a lot of people are confused and think that this means that you grow it in the winter time. Not so. What you do is you plant it in the spring after your last frost. You grow it all summer long. It takes about 90 to 100 days to mature, and then you harvest it in the fall, right before the winter hits, store it, and eat it over the winter time thus the name winter squash. It has a really hard outer shell, which helps it store longer, as opposed to summer squash, which you harvest over the summertime. It has a very um, tender skin and you eat it right away. So it's a great storage squash for during the winter time. And some of my favorite varieties are butternut, uh, winter squash anyway, are butternut, spaghetti squash, and acorn squash. Now I know what some of you are gonna ask next, is it too late in the growing season to plant butternut squash? And I wanna tell you, no, it's not. You can plant butternut squash from seeds. I have seeds in my squash seed collection. And if you grow from seeds, it'll take about 90 to 120 days to harvest. So if you have that much time before your first frost date in the fall, you can drop some seeds in an area that has lots of sun, nice well-drained soil with lots of organic matter in it, and it grows so fast and you'll be amazed at the butternut squash it will produce in a relatively short period of time. Now you can speed things up a little bit by dropping some transplants in. I actually started these seeds on the 2nd of June and look how large the transplants already are. You can also pick up transplants at the garden center, pop some in just to save yourself a little bit of time. Now let me show you an area right behind me here where I just dropped some transplants in last week. Now you can plant seeds directly in your garden beds or you can start them in these little seed cells and grow your own transplants. And you can start seeds right in these and then put them outside to grow in the sun if you don't wanna bother growing them under grow lights. But you wanna get them planted when your transplants are about two to three weeks old so they don't get stunted and um, by overgrowing in these little tiny seed cells. Or you can pick up transplants at the garden center. Look for transplants that are nice and green, like these are. Don't have blossoms and uh, flowers on them. That way you know that they're not past their prime. So I did just drop my, so my own transplants right in this container here last week. And Mac is just sitting out here <laughs> waiting to be on video. Hey Mac, how you doing? Oh, there you go. Now he's perking up. And uh, I planted them about a foot or so apart. You definitely need, are going to need a trellis for your, for your uh, butternut squash to climb on. This is one of my DIY tomato cages. You can see it's kind of beat up, but I've used it in, in the same spot for several years. It's about five feet tall. You can even make a taller cage if you want to. I'll show you one of those in just a moment. And I've got my transplants spaced about a foot apart. So I've got two butternut transplants and then some little uh, pink banana squash in the back which are humongous squash so we'll keep an eye on this as it grows and if it, if it gets too crowded we'll just pull one of those out we've had lots of june gloomy mornings here in southern california so as soon as we get some sunshine these squash will really take off and that's going to be a lot of fun to see the growth and besides the diy tomato cage you can also use a super duper heavy duty tomato cage like we built just a few weeks ago for my competition tomato Again, it's cool and cloudy and my tomato is not growing very fast. There it is, guys. So we really need some sunshine to pick up growth on this plant. But you can see that this cage is much heavier duty. It's plenty enough for butternut squash. And it would be a perfect spot to pop some in there if I didn't have a tomato. And since it is a vining plant, it would climb up the cage as it grows and totally support the butternut squash. This cage is about seven foot tall and it would really make a great trellis for butternut. So maybe I'll do that next year. So I wanted to show you a couple of the really sturdy trellises that work great for butternut squash. And by the way, do you guys like my new coffee mug? 
I was so touched and thankful at Brian and his wife Emily from California Garden TV YouTube channel. They came to our book cover reveal party over the weekend and were so kind to gift me with some of my favorite vanilla nut coffee in this beautiful coffee mug. So thank you so much Brian and Emily. And I did want to take just a moment to thank all of you who joined us for our exciting big announcement on Saturday where I announced that I wrote a new book called Organic gardening for everyone homegrown vegetables made easy so thanks to all of you who pre-ordered because of your amazing support through pre-orders my book actually made it to the Amazon bestsellers list in several gardening categories I'm absolutely thrilled and excited beyond words thank you so much for your support from camera guy and I and I can't wait for you to read the book so if you haven't pre-ordered yet head over to my website and get your pre-order in it really helps us out too now right behind me here is a cattle panel arch trellis perfect for growing butternut squash right now it's full of scarlet runner beans but I'm actually gonna pop a few transplants in the back of this garden bed that way when the scarlet runner beans are done the butternut squash will be there to take its place so it's a super duper heavy heavy duty trellis and holds up well for all kinds of heavier vegetables works great for butternut squash so I will pop links in the video description on how I made all these trellises so you can get one made for your butternut squash too and I have one more to show you now this trellis here is one of my current garden favorites because I think it just looks so pretty in the garden and adds a lot of dimension to the hill here. It's made out of a cattle panel and we just dropped a couple heavy duty posts in the ground and then we actually had a piece of cattle panel that fit this garden bed exactly. But as long as you have a good pair of bolt cutters, you can easily cut a cattle panel down to fit the garden space that you have. There's, cattle panels are such useful trellises to have around your garden and you can pick them up if you have a tractor supply near you this one we happened to purchase at a lowe's that's about an hour from our house it wasn't real easy to find but right now we're growing cucumbers up it but i'll show you the wire here it's definitely sturdy enough to grow watermelon or butternut squash not sure of the gauge but it's super duper sturdy and will hold up well to heavier vegetables all four of the trellis options I showed you are inexpensive, fairly easy to build, but I'd also love to hear your trellis ideas for growing butternut squash as well. Well, comment below, let me know if you're growing butternut squash. It's such a delicious vegetable to grow. I know you're gonna love growing it, and then eating it over the winter is gonna be such a joy. If you do need seeds though, head to my website, pick up the squash seed collection, and get those seeds started today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next coffee walk. And let me know if you're taking your coffee walks too. All right. Bye-bye.